Hello everybody, it's the Trail Ninja. On this episode of GoPro Tutorials, we're going to do a battery life comparison on the Hero 5, Hero 6, and Hero 7 Black. So you can keep a ballpark figure of what the average battery life is for the uh, different cameras. And uh, in this episode, you're going to be surprised at which camera of the Hero 5 Black, Hero 6 Black, and Hero 7 Black has the best battery life. It's going to shock you, but I'll let you watch the video and find out at the end what I found out. Uh, there's going to be five tests, uh, 720p at 60 frames a second, 1080p at 30, 1440p at 30, 2.7k at 30, and 4k at 30. And these tests are all done with the same settings. Uh, so it's all just regular battery life. So without further ado, let's get on with the tests.
are complete. Uh, now that you've seen all five uh, tests with the different modes of uh, 720, 1080, 1440, 2.7K, and 4K, uh, here's the chart with all the uh, battery times with the Hero 5, Hero 6, and Hero 7 Black. The yellow highlighted is the best times. Uh, so as you can see, the Hero 6 Black basically shined in all six, I mean all five uh, filming modes. It's kind of shocking. You would either think the Hero 5 Black would be best battery life or the Hero 7 Black would be best battery life. But in this weird uh, way things are, the Hero 6 Black actually has better battery life than the 5 or the 7 Black. Weird. And the reason why I say this Hero 5 Black might be expected to have the best battery life is because obviously it's 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 not as powerful as the 6 or the 7 Black. However, the Hero 5 Black does not have the GP1 processor, whereas the Hero 6 Black does. And it could be that the GP1 processor is a little more battery efficient than the processor that was in the Hero 5 Black, which would explain why the Hero 6 Black is better with battery life than the Hero 5 Black. And it's not really surprising that the Hero 6 Black is better with battery life than the Hero 7 Black because the Hero 7 Black also runs the GP1 processor but pushes a lot more power through its perspective mode so it's going to eat a lot more battery uh, obviously. So in a way it's not too shocking to see that the Hero 6 Black has the better battery life of the three uh, cameras. Um, but in the, in the long shot, again, this, this is lab in a test environment out on the field, you're going to go through batteries a lot quicker than this. In my experience with mountain biking, I can't, I can only say with mountain biking, uh, I've generally replaced batteries about every hour to be on the safe side. And that doesn't mean the batteries die after an hour. It's just that after about an hour, I'm at a stop, stopping point. I don't want the batteries dying on me when I'm doing my next segment, so I just change them out. That way I don't have to worry about them dying while I'm riding, which would suck. So that's just my rule of thumb. When I'm mountain biking, is I replace them every hour, so I carry about three batteries per camera to keep myself uh, supplied throughout the ride. But again, your experiences may vary, however you choose to film. But these are the these are the uh, lab test results. So, anyways, that's the that's the uh, conclusion of this video. I hope this helps you guys kind of get a comparison of the cameras as far as battery life. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, Hero Seven analysis comparison videos. Again, I plan to do a stabilization test as soon as I can get the mountain bike out and get some dry trail and really uh, put the cameras through the test so I can bring you that, those comparisons. All right, guys. God bless. Please like and subscribe to my channel to help me keep this thing going. And uh, look forward to giving you more content. Thanks a lot. God bless.